I'm gonna watch the Mitch Slip video right now while I can. Let's see. G33, thank you so much, my man. Here we go. What's going on, guys? McSkill is here with another CSGO video, and today I'll be talking about something that some of you guys may know about if you've watched some other CSGO YouTubers because it's starting to pop up on a lot of the biggest CSGO YouTube channels. And I'm not going to be naming any names or going over the names of any site in this video because I don't want to draw a bunch of attention to the sites or draw too much hate to the YouTubers. But either way, it's pretty messed up. Because uh, they actually are how do they know I want a fucking spider? CSGO case opening sites, and I mean it's not too hard to explain it, but basically these sites are completely rigged, and they're basically just a scam to slowly make you lose all of your money. And actually, more actually, a lot of these can make you lose your money quite fast. I haven't seen any. Uh, he, this is his accusation right now. This is what he's saying, right? Um. He's saying that these sites are rigged and it's a way to lose all your money. Okay. And I would say these sites are much worse than a lot of the like skin like gambling wagering sites in the past because this site you actually you actually take your credit card, you put real money directly into the site, so you just keep spending So you put real money into this site, okay? Um There's something that we all play on, it's called Valve, it's called CSGO. We put real money into CSGO and we unbox. It's the exact same thing, but I feel like unboxing gives you a guaranteed way. You pay a little more for the case, but you get something. Or some, some case, some real case money you pay shit for. Trying to open these rigged cases. And these sites do not even have the provably fair system. Now, that system doesn't mean too much, but at least with the old gambling sites, the reason I don't think those are nearly as messed up as this new one, those ones you actually had like somewhat fair odds and there's usually just like a site tax or something like that. But on these new sites, there's it's not that sort of system. You're just opening cases that will make you eventually lose all your money almost every Sarah, single time. I haven't seen Sarah any Dadger, videos where Dadger, someone has actually so made money opening Sarah these Dadger. cases except one video that was later confirmed to be rigged. So that just shows you how much sketchy stuff is going on. And also, I, I do know I have made actual case unboxing videos for CSGO before, and those are quite rigged as well. But the thing is, those are not advertisement videos, and those videos actually always make it really clear. Even if I unbox something good in those videos, I always make sure to say not to open CSGO cases. Like, you can watch my video where I unbox the Banet Autotronic. I still said in that video that you shouldn't open cases because I've opened a lot of cases before for videos and stuff, and in my experience, those are extremely rigged as well, and you will basically always lose your money. I don't think I've ever... Is he, is he saying that the CSGO in, in CSGO is rigged as well? Is that what he's saying? Made money opening cases, but still, these new sites are probably much worse than even CSGO cases, because on CSGO cases, you do have a chance of getting something that's worth thousands of dollars, but on these sites, I mean, most of them don't even have super, super expensive skins, so you have a small chance of getting. Alright, so I think after talking about that, you kind of get the basis of this site, but now I'm going to start talking about numbers. I'm gonna start talking about how much the site, these sites make a day and how much they actually offer. He hasn't said anything with proof right now. This is just him talking. How does he know that they're not using provably fair? Does he have access to the back end of these websites? I don't understand. He, I don't think what, he YouTubers. knows what he's the saying. The only reason the YouTubers are making videos on these is because they're paid insane amounts of money that no one should ever be paid for a sponsored video. Like the YouTubers, okay, let's just talk about this. This one site, they offered me $75,000 for one video. One video, that's it. Not some sort of monthly thing. Just one video, $75,000. And, I mean, that's more than, like, I think Perdogu. PewDiePie gets, like, 40000 for some sort of sponsored video. But these case unboxing sites actually make so much money that they can just afford to spend so much on sponsorships. And I actually think they would make their money back if I uh, made a video on it. Because these sites, they just basically all the money that goes in eventually goes to them because the cases are so rigged in their favor. They even have a system on a lot of them where you can sell the skins immediately. So you're just like directly just slowly deteriorating all of your money. 
And the point is, you really just can't even make money on these sites. Like, at least on the old gambling sites, there were... I know plenty of people who have actually made a lot of money um, on the old gambling sites with, like, the wagering skins honestly, and stuff. But these new sites, you're just losing all your money. Like, there's basically no one... I, I agree 100% that the house always wins and you're gonna lose money most of the time if you keep playing. The longer you play, the more money you lose. It's not gonna be like... It, you, there's luck that you could get lucky with a shit ton of money at one time and then just peace out. Not a lot of people do that. But this is fucking insane to me that he's just talking about it. Actually makes money on these sites whatsoever. And the reason he's, that he's not giving me any proof. I just want proof. Sites is because it's just a complete scam. I wouldn't make a video to basically scam all of my subscribers. And obviously people would probably look very down upon me even though a lot of youtubers are seeing me to get away with this somehow i i I, I i think Kiroko, i honestly think this guy is trying to do something to where he wants to make himself look like a saint and no offense bro but no one's a fucking saint if i got offered 75k for a video i would have done it i got offered far 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 less i got offered single fucking digits for my drake moon video and and i don't know what website he's talking about but there's only like two websites that are big right now and Drake Moon's one of them and I got offered single fucking digit thousand dollars not one thousand but in the single digits under ten over five for uh one video and a couple of twitter mentions here there so I don't know where this guy is getting these numbers from now I would assume YouTubers make this kind of money the bigger ones but it like uh, either I don't way, even know how big Miss Killer is as a YouTuber or actually offers as much as they offer me is basically the way these sites work is they just keep throwing offers higher until you finally break basically like this one guy just keeps sending me messages adding like 20k every week or something to his initial offer i just kept declining it and eventually got to 75k wouldn't be subscribed i wouldn't be surprised if i was able to get this guy to pay me 100k for one video but uh either way it might even be illegal too so um i, I don't know because you're using like credit card not even skin so that just makes it extremely sketchy and the only reason these sites are able to afford to offer this much to sponsors is because these sites are making even more than like the top gambling sites for CSGO were making before. Like I would say these sites are making at least $100,000 every single day. I don't even believe like CSGO Wild or any of those sites have really reached that point. Okay, so um, that's as a person that knew what a lot of these websites made behind the scenes he's completely wrong the gambling sites made far more money than him the reason these gam these unboxing sites don't make as much money as the gambling sites were because these unboxing sites require real money to be deposited rather than skins if these sites allowed just normal skin deposits straight up steam trade offer and stuff they'd make a lot more but they don't they don't uh, uh, that's the whole here's here's what i don't understand People made such a big deal before about, oh my god, this is underage gambling, skins, uh, you can't use skins to bet, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. And now we find sites that are starting to say, all right, fuck skins then. Use real money to gamble and unbox, and we'll pay you off in skins. Literally what Valve does. It's exactly what Valve is doing. And there's still somewhat, somewhat like, I don't know actually how a lot of people are going to take this video. If a lot of people are gonna say good stuff, bad stuff, I don't know. Of consistency, I mean, I actually think these sites might be making a lot more than $100,000. I'm not able to get an exact, that was just kind of an estimation. It really depends on... He, everything he's saying is both, like, show me some fucking proof. I'd like to interview Mitch Killett, dude. Like, I'd like to actually have a... I'm gonna tweet at him right now. What's his name on the... Is it OG Mitch Killett? I'm gonna message him. I just want to say I want to see if he wants to like come into mumble with me and tell me why because I want proof because if I see proof with my own eyes that that with, with like logs of the owners telling specific youtubers hey you're about to get a knife do this do that do this do that then I'll fucking leave Th th then I'll I fucking leave whatever them. pay money they're paying me I'll fucking leave it on the table and say fuck it but I don't fucking hey, someone's buying but I think it could easily be over $100,000 every single day, which just shows you how much these sites are making, which is quite ridiculous. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. The only real point in this video was to tell you guys not to go on these sites, because it's a very bad idea, and you will lose all of your money, probably. So 
I just would not recommend doing this sort of thing. So that's I pretty just much want it for this dude. video, guys. Hope you guys are yeah. um, helpful. And First just... off, what site gave him 75k? Because I'll do it for half that. Number one, I'll do it for half that. I, I just got to understand, because like, I'm looking at Mitch Stillet and like, let's see, let me see his like views and stuff. So look, one day ago, that's a shit ton of views. One day ago, that's a shit ton of views right there, right? And then one month ago, what the fuck did he do for a whole month? The thing is, he probably have followers that are done like super like, here's the thing, I gotta explain something about like YouTube in general, right? Like no offense to the, like a lot of the viewers are like kind of young and, and, and they don't understand. So when they see stuff, first off, if you're young, you shouldn't be fucking playing on any of these sites. You shouldn't steal fucking credit cards to play. Hope your parents beat your ass if you do that. We're not your parents, you know, par your parents are your parents. They should fucking control you. But people that see this, he didn't like would say, oh, it's 100% scam, it's rigged, it's rigged. But if they watch the video, there's zero, there's literally zero evidence. This is this guy's opinion on something. That's like me saying like, like me making a video right now and I'll be like, dude, you know, Tarek uh, from CLG or Tarek from Team Optic, uh, he's gay. Like, you know, I, I seen this guy like kissing or, you know, I, or I feel like he kisses guys all the time at lens and he you know he, he i feel i heard that once he had a relationship with this dude and i don't want to point any fingers at other people that might have slept with Tarek, but they're all guys and they're all dudes i could literally just say make a video and say that Tarek is gay and then people believe that Tarek is actually homosexual that's literally i could i could do that right now on youtube i could do a super serious youtube and and with zero evidence and and get away with it but now if i fucking have a fucking picture of Tarek sucking some dude's dick that's evidence 